So we're just sitting here looking up words in the dictionary, aren't we? <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> Uh, Nancy's here from the Eddie County DWI Task Force. She asked me to look up accident. Accident. And I pulled up Merriam-Webster, which I believe is a dictionary. Yes. Accident. One, A, an unforeseen and unplanned event or circumstance. Their meeting mm. was an accident. Okay. Okay. B, lack of intention or necessity, chance, met by accident rather than by design. So that's the first definition of accident. Second def definition, A, an unfortunate event resulting especially from carelessness or ignorance was involved in a traffic accident. So is that the definition you're looking for? Well, what I said last week, mm -hmm. or last time I was here, um, we were just, you said wrecks, and I, our accidents, and then you said that I refer to them as wrecks, mm -hmm. because I can't see where, and I was just trying, dr driving in, all of a sudden those words came back to me, and I'm thinking exactly what is an accident? Yeah. Is someone getting drunk? By definition, an accident is it by uh let's see well carelessness or ignorance carelessness i think would fit in there and and ignorance <laughs> ignorance of the law ignorance of what effect alcohol is, has on you i guess 2a could be used to describe what happens when somebody drinks and gets behind the wheel of a car um B, uh, 2B is an unexpected or medically important bodily event when injurious. C is the law definition, an unexpected happening causing loss or injury which is not due to any fault or misconduct on the part of the person injured but for which legal relief may be sought. But see, if you choose to drink and you to choose to drive, then you can't say that it was an accident that it was not due to any fault or misconduct of the uh, on the part of the person injured okay so if you're injured in in an <clears throat> accident with a drunk driver you're not at fault but legal relief may be sought if you are injured as a result of an accident i'm just thinking of the lawyer right. commercials that are <laughs> you see on tv and hear on the right. radio so right um so what would what would we prefer to call it um we if it's if it's which, what you're saying is how can it be an accident if you purposely choose yes to take those steps right if you purposely start drinking before you're driving how is that an accident because right. Well, you, to be, you know, let's just be honest about this. The person that's doing that knows what they're doing, right? Well, they should. They just choose to make that choice. So I'm going to stick with it. No, no, <laughs> it's, I, I, it, it's fine. It's a, a wreck, not an accident. Wreck is a verb. Okay. Um, it, it, it is a noun. But it has to do with uh, something cast up on the land by sea is a wreck. Oh. According to this. Okay. Uh, 2A, shipwreck. B, the action of wrecking or fact or state of being wrecked. Destruction. Right. C, a violent and destructive car crash was injured in a car wreck. So would oh. that maybe be a more descriptive word to use? Yes, yes. Uh, then as a verb, to ruin, damage, or imperil by a wreck, wrecked the car. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What would be a more accurate way to describe it? But I understand what you're saying. If you right. if you choose to buy the alcohol, 
You choose to have the party. Yes. You choose to invite folks over to the party. Then you, as the person doing this, it can't, it's, can't be considered an accident before the person that you ran into. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that could get complicated. You're twisting up my brain here. <laughs> Well, I'm not trying to twist it. I, <laughs> no, it, I, it was it was my little twisted brain before I ever got started. It's been one of those mornings, you know, when you put your socks on, realize something's upside down, and <laughs> put your shirt on backwards. One of those mornings. So yeah, yeah. Well, it, it's going to get better. It, it's well, it, get better. It, it will. It yes. will get better. I yeah. I, emailed, I made it without any problems. So it's. <laughs> I, I emailed somebody yesterday, and they emailed back, and they said, "I'll have the answer for you by lunch." today that was uh -huh. yesterday and i hadn't heard from him oh so i emailed this morning and i said hey have you had lunch <laughs> <laughs> you, he's the one that said it <laughs> <laughs> and i said it with a smiley face i wasn't trying to be snotty or anything because you never know when you say it versus when you write it out on a text or an email if if the intent of the humor or the joke is actually received on the part of the person that gets gets the message yeah, and it makes you wonder how many friendships have been lost because of the interpretation between uh, one place uh, and the uh, other a, mi a misinterpretation right, so well, now just exactly what did you mean by that and then sometimes you go back and read it and it sounds like you were not being very nice and that's not what you intended at yeah. all so i put a smiley face <laughs> <laughs> you need a big heart too <laughs> I, I said have you had lunch yet and a smiley face <laughs> so i believe it was received with the proper humor no i actually did not go to lunch yesterday lol crazy monday <laughs> <laughs> so is he going to have it by lunch oh no i i have the answer he, oh, he, he sent me answer. he sent me okay. the answer that i needed but he <clears throat> he laughed at my <laughs> feeble attempt at humor so I, <laughs> I i felt better about that well you uh, have some statistics for us what I, uh, I do i found this for 2022 oh this is so this, this year this year from january to july in the state of new mexico there have been 255 fatal wrecks this is in this this year in new mexico in new mexico okay 50 of those were alcohol related Okay. Um, in 2021, there were t not only 99 fatal wrecks during the same time frame, with 26 fatalities uh, from drinking and driving. So That's we're already double oh, yeah. in terms of the fatalities from drinking and driving, and way more than double in terms of the number of fatalities yes. total. And 26 fatalities were reported for Chavez, Eddie, Lee, and Lee counties. This year? This year. 26. And we've had, and this was just for the first, uh, for the first, from January to July. And we know we've had many fatalities around just in this area in the last couple of months. Mm hmm So what's going on? Yeah. You know, are you paying attention? Are we, some, and I realize that some of these fatalities are not alcohol related. I realize that. But just exactly what's going on, what crazy driving is going on. I drove up to the mountains Saturday, and I was astounded at the high speeds going up through the mountains. Yeah. And passing in places where you really shouldn't be passing. And then I get this lady behind me, and I'm, I'm decided that I'm getting old enough that I know better than to speed. <laughs> it's time to slow down. Right. <clears throat> and she gets behind me, and I know that she wants to pass because she came up on me pretty fast. But she kept pulling over to pass, and then she'd change her mind. Checking to see going, if the yes, coast was clear, yeah, basically. Yeah, and it was perfectly clear. But I thought, well, better to be safe than sorry. Well, then she passes me, and she gets in front of me, and she's doing that on perfectly straight roads she's going back and forth and back and forth and i'm thinking and there's nobody in front of her well yeah there was a pickup in front oh, okay. of okay okay so she's trying and to she's, work her way through the traffic line yeah but we were already on the straightaways yeah and i'm thinking 
but just watching, there was somebody past me probably going 90. And I'm, I'm just watching all of this. What are we doing? Yeah. What, well, we, what's uh, going on here? We, we, on our way to Crucis a couple weeks ago for the football game, uh, on the way to Cloudcroft, uh, somebody was in a hurry and was weaving in and out, not, mm. no passing zones, passing and no passing zones. Oh. And, and I said to Joby and, and Jeffrey, I said, well, I've never seen a traffic accident real time before. Because, you know, we're, we're yeah. fixing to see one. Fortunately, we didn't. But I agree. Why is everybody in such a hurry? Yeah. We, t- why? You, if, if you're in a hurry, if you're running late, that's your fault. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you should have planned That's not better. an accident. That's not an accident. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, but if you're just driving because you can drive that fast, because your vehicle will let you drive that fast. Yeah. M- Maybe that's why we've had 255 fatal accidents in New Mexico for s- six months of the year. Compared to 99 the year yes. before. Yeah, that's a lot. That is a lot. In uh, a small state. I mean, we have, what, a couple of million people in the state. That's yeah. a pretty... And there, it's not like there hasn't been work done on the roads over the last 10, 20, 30 years. I mean, there's yeah. been a lot of work on the roads. Been a lot of work and... and yeah. Car, car safety systems are more advanced, and uh, maybe that's what it is. People think, well, I've got the <clears throat> airbags, I've got the seat belt, I've got the, yeah. the crumple zones, I've got all these safety enhancements that have been put into vehicles, I'm, I'm indestructible. That, that's a scary place to put yourself. Yeah. And, and the mere fact that I wonder how many of these were hit on collisions that you have hurt someone else. And coming to that, Thanksgiving's coming up. Mm -hmm. Please, please, please don't drink and drive. You know, no, nobody needs to bury their loved ones, but especially around the holidays and any time's a bad time. But is it necessary for you to take those drinks and start driving? Yeah. No, it's not. No, put it up. Put it away. Do something different. Yeah. Hot we, chocolate, coffee, hot, yes. Sprite. Espresso. <laughs> Espresso. Uh, <laughs> cider. Um, apple yeah. cider. There's a, oh, hundreds of different kinds of holiday, drinks that holiday you Holiday drinks you can have. Uh, you know, Lana has a theory as to why people are driving. I'm not going to say it on the radio because I don't have any statistical evidence to back it up and I don't want to be just throwing something uh-huh. out there for the sake of throwing something out there. I'll mention to you when we're off air, but... I think there are things, I think people feel more confident and safer. I think people are constantly running behind. Everybody's so yes. busy, they don't leave enough time to prop. I mean, you can pull up on your maps and it'll tell you how long it's going to take to right. get someplace. Well, if it tells you that it's going to take four hours and 20 minutes, then don't leave four hours or three and a half hours, you know, mm-hmm. leave four hours and 20 minutes or maybe 4.30 or, you know, five hours. It's better to be early and alive than it is to, to do all of this stuff and, and to be so careless. Yeah. Because it's not just you you're being careless with. It's the other people on the road. Yeah. So, you know, if you, if you don't think enough of yourself t- to pay attention... And if you have kids in your car Mm -hmm. or stop and think about that person coming is going to hit you head on and you've got your kids in the car yeah, and that person's been drinking, it doesn't need to happen. No. You you just wonder what's influencing people's judgment. Yes. Um, Yes. The no passing zones through the mountainous areas or even on the regular highways are there for a reason. You cannot see ahead of you enough to anticipate making your pass it's just no. you, that so don't pass in the no passing zones it's and even that have you th- stopped to think about the different things that your car could do you got hit a rock mm-hmm. something hit a deer hit a deer yeah that i i almost hit a deer on 13th street yeah yeah found out i have really good brakes <laughs> <laughs> that's good and the poor little it was a doe She's, you know, got that dull look on her face, yeah, and I'm thinking, just, you should see my face. That's you know, right. 
So. Nancy, we're at, we're out of time oh, for today, gosh, but that was uh, fast. <laughs> we'll we'll see you. Have a very good Thanksgiving. You too. And you're welcome to come back in two weeks. It'll be the fifth. Oh, the fifth. Yeah. Okay. It'll be the fifth Tuesday, but you're welcome to come back. I will come back. All right. I'll figure something.